Portuguese court rules, PCR tests, unreliable, and quarantines unlawful. Remember Portugal? Yeah, a lot of people don't know Portugal because if we had to add, if we had to add Portugal into the history books, they pretty much choreographed the entire planet. And that stupid map that keeps showing about Antarctica and the first travelers and all that crap, it's a Portuguese map. It's got the Portuguese shield on the side. And they keep avoiding that like the plague. And I was reading an article on Macau, China, how the Portuguese first went there. They never mentioned the year on Wikipedia when the Portuguese arrived because they arrived in the early 1500s. And if anyone figured that out, that would actually go against the Dutch being there, the French, and all the other cultures because the Portuguese would be there 250 years early. Portugal is the only country that legalized drugs and made it a sickness, not a crime. Portugal is the only country that went off grid, off solar, and wind and ocean power for four days, beating Germany's three hours. Now, what does Portugal have right now? Well, Portuguese court rules, PCR tests, unreliable and quarantines unlawful. Important legal discussion faces total, total media blackout in the Western world. Tribunal de, de Relação de Lisboa. Procuradorio Geral Distrital de Lisboa. Those big words there in Portuguese. But basically, it's the governor general of... Um, uh, uh, the district of Lisbon. So what they're saying here... An appeals court in Portugal has ruled that the PCR process is not reliable for tests for SARS-CoV-2, and therefore any enforced quarantine based on these test results is unlawful. Further, the ruling suggested that any forced quarantine applied to healthy people could be a violation of their fundamental right to liberty. And this is from Portugal. Portugal. The, the empire that was taken down because they were actually trading legally. They were actually trading with gold-backed currency. Look it up. They were trading with gold-backed currency. And, they, and, and the West needed to take down the Portuguese empire. They're gone from history. They don't even exist. But you arrive in one out of, like, uh, f there's five Portuguese countries. You show up. Uh, five Portuguese countries in Africa. You speak, th oh, they speak French. You show up there, they're speaking Portuguese. Oh, my God. What is this? Further ruling suggests any force, so we got that. Most importantly, the judges ruled that a single prospective PCR test cannot be used as an effective diagnosis for of infection. The specific of these cause concern for tourists entering the country. Then don't go. Don't go. I'll go. I'll, I'll go. I'm a citizen. I'll go there. All uh, uh, entering the country from Germany, all of whom are anonymous in the transcript of the case who are quarantined by the regional health authority of the four. One only had tested positive for the virus. The other three were deemed simply high infection risk based on the proximity to the positive to the positive individual. All four had previous 72 hours tested negative for the virus before departing from Germany. So in ruling goals to conclude that based on the science they read, the PCR test using over 25 cycles is totally unreliable. Governments and private labs have been tight-lipped about the exact number of cycles they run on the PCR testing. That is, is known to sometimes be as high as 45, even uh, a fear-mongering in a chief a fear monger in Chief Anthony Fauci has publicly stated over 35 is totally unusable. You can't read the complete ruling in the original por in, in original Portuguese here. So here it is in Portuguese and there's the ruling right there. This is from the Tribunal Relação de Lisboa. They post this on their website there and it goes here. Ne pode recorrer uma decisão de ordena de libertação imediata de quarta pessoas. So they're going over the four people that came in and doing the testing and this and that and they're going over Basically, I'm this is passports and it's going over everything here and actually talking about what's realistically going on here. So that is big news that I think Ireland, um, I think I think Ireland is also stepping up against this and what's going on. That this is we're not getting we're not getting it's like global warming. We're not we're they're not we're, like you're not going to win the argument. So they're they're just trying to. Dance around it.